Hello, this is that GTA fan 720 with an unboxing of my new phone. Yes, indeed, this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. This is a very nice device. I had the Galaxy Note 3 for so long, and it finally broke. And I had a little kind of hold me over phone, but I finally got a new phone. Yes, this is the Galaxy Note 2. Technically a step down from the Note 3, but hey, it's a new Galaxy Note. And the Note 2 is like the first like really good Note. And like the Note 3 is like the best Note there ever was in my opinion. But yeah, so we just take the box off, and then here we have the phone itself. The Galaxy Note 2. Um, but I don't believe there's actually anything else in the box. This isn't a new Note 2. This is a one that's been refurbished. There's nothing in there but the SIM card for a uh, US cellular. Um, but I do plan on getting this all up and running on the good old Verizon. But yeah, so we have the Galaxy Note 2. It's a very comfortable device. It's a very nice looking device. And it's got all the plastic on it, so let's take this off. And this was this is a very attractive device. It is the it's not the black, but it's like the um it's like a silver it's kind of hard to explain. But we just take that plastic off there. And that is very nice. It's all shiny. It actually kind of has um, aspects very similar to, you can even see to the, uh, but it has a lot of aspects very similar to the Galaxy Note 5. And this foam is very nice. Um, it's very reflective. So, yeah, I actually didn't even realize this. I just assumed this is going to be a plastic build, very similar to the Galaxy Note 3 and Note 4. But it seems like the Note 2 was, like, the, um, the nicest looking Note there was, at least before the glass-backed Galaxy Note 5 and 7. Um, we do have the lovely U.S. cellular 4G. We've got the micro USB. And then on top, on the top, we have the headphone jack. Uh, my dad's Galaxy Note 5 does have the headphone jack on the bottom, whereas this phone has it up here on the top, and so did my old Note 3. So, yes. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, take off the back cover to kind of see how what the battery and everything inside of it looks like. And, yep, so we've got the... The Samsung battery, which seems to be inflated a little bit, um, not too much. So we got the SD card slot, we got the SIM card slot, we got the lovely camera. I'm not sure how many megapixels the camera is, uh, but it's an a it's a it's an HD Super AMOLED display. Um, I know the first Note it was like some funky resolution. Uh, I believe the Note 2 was the first one with a 1080p. Although, I could be wrong, because I know the Note 3 had a 1080p screen, and then ever since the Note 4, they've had Quad HD. But, yes, yeah, so we have the battery. It doesn't seem to sit in there right. It seems to bulge out a bit. I don't know, maybe it's about to explode or something. Because I ha I've never heard of Note, Note, um, of Note 5, 4s, 3s, any of those exploding. Uh, I did hear about the Note 7, of course, like everyone did. Um, however, I did hear a story where someone's Galaxy Note 2 had exploded on a plane, and yet Samsung did not do a recall, uh, because that would have been stupid of them. And uh, I believe that is the same with the Note 7. So, um, this is the Galaxy Note 2. Let's see if this has... This has probably been sitting in a box for since at least 2013, so a good three years so let's see if this thing can even boot up. No, I don't think it can. I think it's completely dead. Well, let's see if we can't get a power cord and power this puppy up. Okay, we've got a power cord in here and we got a little battery icon. See, I miss these old days of Android back when everything looked all 3D and cool. Now it's all just flat and ugly looking. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it is indeed charging. It is pretty much dead, but let's see if we can't power it up. So, yep, Samsung Galaxy Note 2. 
I always recommend to people that you should always just buy older flagships instead of new low-end phones. Ooh, that's nice. Um, it even has like a little boot-up sound and everything. U.S. Cellular. Um, I'm guessing it's giving me a warning. Battery critically low. Connect to a power outlet to and use. Okay. Continued usage while charging made friend efficient charging. Okay. Wow, this is very retro looking. I ha <laughs> look at that. It immediately wants a software update, but I will not do that. Please activate free U.S. cellular Wi-Fi to enhance your mobile experience. Wow, I miss the days when Android looked like this. Why don't they bring this back? Cause this I don't have service because I don't have U.S. cellular. But swipe screen to unlock. Wow, isn't that cool? Look at that. I, I actually really don't want to update this. I want to leave this the way it is. Look at this. It's got like the old school Dropbox, Flipboard, calculator, you know, like really old versions of Amazon and Chrome and all that. Um, and old Play Store. Wow. This is like, I feel like I'm in a time capsule. Oh. oh, it rebooted on me. Okay. I feel like I'm in a time capsule with this phone. It's so nice, like just having it. It's so retro looking. Although um, I do know, you know, some people who have the Galaxy S3. So, and the Galaxy S3 is the same generation as the Note 2. So, you know, that's why the recent skip where there's no Note 6, because the Galaxy um, S7 and the Note 5 had. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, just go away. But either way, this is a very nice device. And yeah, this is, as soon as I get this activated on Verizon, then this should be my new phone. So yeah, um, I actually almost don't want to, I kind of want to just get like a different phone and keep this as like a time capsule. Um, it looks very different than my, even my Note 3 did. And my 3 was like still a very, um, you know, it was just the one next model up from this. Because of course, uh, the uh, Note 3 came with... Uh, I forgot what it came with, uh, was it, I think, actually, I think it was, no, it wasn't Lollipop, because the 5, uh, the 7 came with Marshmallow, I believe, the 5 came with, with Marshmallow as well, the 4 came with Lollipop, and the 3 came with, I think this is Kit Kat, well, what, that's a menu button, that's not a multitasking button, what? That is crazy. Wait, that is so different. Even though this is just one step back from my Note 3, which I had for so long, it it feels like it's in a different dimension. It seems like the Note 3 was truly the first of the now what we consider modern Note smartphones. Oh, it's even got the old YouTube app. VPN client, voice recorder. You know what, let's try out the S Pen. So pull out the S Pen. Look at that. It's good. It gives me a uh, you probably acknowledge any included applications confirm. Uh agree. S void yet yeah, now. Nah, uh it wants me to do all this. Skip. Skip. Oh, that's like the thing where you Oh, there's no air command, is there? Oh, this is like a special widget for yeah, because there's no button on the S Pen. And I know on the Note 3 and 4, you could, uh, there is a button on the, oh no, there is a button on the side of the pen. And it doesn't really, it's, wait, it's not a button. Or no, it does click, okay. So I can like hover over something, and I can, see, it's draw a note. Wow, this is very retro looking, look at this. <laughs> Wow. This is crazy. This is like old school and everything. I don't have a case or a screen protector for this, so I'll have to get one. Let's see how this... That's fairly standard. But yeah, this is nice. Galaxy Note 2. We're literally just... Uh, here, wait, let me grab the eraser... 
Oh, this erases a bit differently than the newer notes. This is like actually erasing it and not just like deleting lines. This is like this is like a legit S Pen experience. Okay, so let's see. So Galaxy Note. There we go. Got that lovely Galaxy Note, like, um, you know, logo or whatever. So, yeah. And, of course, oh, man, I love I love this better than the newer Android where it has this bar that you can, like, swipe up. Sometimes you, sometimes you still see something like this on very low-end phones, but a lot of times you don't. And that's still, yep, that's the same way as it is. Okay, it's trying to get me to update the software. Okay, I'm able to connect. Good. So, again, this yeah, this is very similar. It just looks different, in all honesty. It still has multi-window. I didn't think I didn't think that was a thing till the three. So multi-window. I can't. Okay, so now I've enabled it. Okay. Oh, that's what I use this for. I use this to. Uh, this is too far. Fix the camera. Okay. <laughs> uh. Oh, this is actually. This reminds me a lot of the sidebar that was on the Galaxy Note Edge. Doesn't this? Only it's on only it's on the left side instead of the right because the Galaxy Note Edge had the one edge on the right, and then now. That the the features have expanded with the S7 Edge and the S6 Edge, but they're more just like panels that pop out. They're not actually on the edge. So let's just get out of this. Oh wait a minute, is there a uh, exit app? So I just do that. There's no. How do I show the apps I have open? That's really weird. That is one thing that's like way different. Wow, this is like all retro looking and everything. Oh, this is, oh, I was going to say, is that all there is? One-handed operation? Oh, yeah, because this is like around the time of uh, iPhone 4S and 5S. Back when, you know, people were so used to really small phones and the Notes were something. I'm going to be honest, like, the Note 2, like, compared to the newer Notes, it actually feels small in my hand, even though it's a bigger phone. It's a little bit shorter than the newer notes but it's a bit it's a bit thicker because it has uh, thicker bezels because you know that's just kind of one thing the notes do is they just get you know thinner and thinner um, but yeah so this is kind of cool just to kind of have this um, oh the dates not even set December 31st 2011 2011 Wow Can you believe that 2011 that was a different time back then actually I'm just kind of curious let me see what that YouTube app looks like um, not now. Ooh. Oh, okay. So this is like, okay, so this is kind of, this is very similar to what we have now. I would assume they wouldn't change much, but, oh, so this is that multi-window thing that looks like the Node Edge. Okay. Well, that is cool. And then, of course, you can do that with the pen. Wow. That is nice. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this lovely blast from the past of the Samsung Galaxy Note series. Um, so this has been the unboxing of the... Where's the button? Oh, it's flush. That's nice. Oh, yeah, that, that's a bit different. So I hope you guys enjoyed this retro unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. This is that GTA Fan 720 signing out. If you guys just kind of like this old stuff, then I hope you guys really enjoy it. So anyways, this is that GTA Fan 720 signing out. I hope you all have a good one. And tell me in the comments if you guys are still rocking uh, a Galaxy Note and what version you're running. If you're running the Note 2, let me know. Because I'm pretty sure the Note 2 only supports up to 4.4. Up to uh, or maybe like 4.8. I don't think it supports the 5 series. Because I know the Note 3 supports up to Lollipop. And the 4 and above support up to Marshmallow. So, 
If you guys, especially if you guys have the Galaxy Note 2, definitely let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video of me unboxing the Galaxy Note 2. This is that GTA Fan 720 signing out. I hope you all have a great one.